Now another problem where we can apply Lagrange's method is in utility maximization or expenditure minimization problems. Now in this case we are given a utility function which is given as ux and it will be equal to under root x1 x2 where x1 and x2 are quantities of two goods. Now w is a fixed wealth and prices are p1 and p2. Now the first question is solve utility maximization problem. Now in this case we have to maximize this utility. So here our objective function is ux and it will be given by under root of x1 x2. Now subject to the constraint, what is the constraint in this? Now this maximization of utility, it is subject to budget constraint and budget constraint is this wealth is fixed. So this w will be equal to p1 x1 plus p2 x2. So now we have our objective function and we also have our equality constraint. So for this problem we can write Lagrangian function as L x1 x2 lambda and it will be equal to this optimization function under root x1 x2 and then plus lambda and this equality constraint which is w minus p1 x1 minus p2 x2. Now we will find its gradient and we will put it equals to 0. So first we will find del L by del x1 will be under root x2 of 1 to under root x1 and minus lambda p1 equals 0. So from here we write lambda p1 as under root x2 upon 2 under root x1 and this is our first equation. Now we will differentiate it with respect to x2. So it will be under root x1 upon twice under root x2 minus lambda and here it will be p2 equals 0. So it will be lambda p2 and we can write this as under root x1 upon twice under root x2 and that is our second equation. Now we differentiate it with respect to lambda then we will get this as w minus p1 x1 minus p2 x2 equals 0 which will give us our original constraint equation which is our budget constraint in this case. So this is our third equation. Now what we will do is we will divide first with second. So from here we can write p1 upon p2 will be equal to x2 upon x1 or simply we can write p1 x1 will be equal to p2 x2. Now we put it in this third equation so from here we can write p1 x1 will be equal to p2 x2 and it will be simply equal to w by 2. So from here we can write utility maximization quantities x1 will be w upon 2p1 and x2 will be w upon 2p2. Now we can also find Lagrange's multiplier. We can write lambda as 1 upon 2p1 under root of x2 upon x1. Now under root x2 upon x1 will be under root of p1 upon p2. So it will be 1 upon 2p1 into under root of p1 upon p2. So the value of Lagrange's multiplier will be 1 upon 2 under root p1 p2. So for this utility function, if we consider utility maximization problem, then utility will be maximized if we consider these quantities x1 and x2. Now with the same setup, it can also ask us to find expenditure minimization problem. Now in this case, we have to minimize expenditure. Now expenditure will be given by p1x1 plus p2x2 subject to this constraint u equals under root of x1x2. So for the second part, basically objective function and constraint, they are interchanged. So now here we need to minimize this expenditure. So again we write Lagrangian function. So Lagrangian for this will be p1x1 
plus p2 x2 and then plus lambda l b u minus under root of x1 x2 now again we'll differentiate this with respect to x1 we'll get this as p1 minus lambda under root x2 upon 2 under root x1 and will be equal to 0 so from here we'll get p1 equals lambda under root x2 upon 2 under root x1 and that's our first equation now if we differentiate this with respect to x2 we'll get this as p2 minus lambda under root x1 upon twice under root x2 will be equal to 0 or we can write p2 equals lambda under root x1 upon 2 under root x2 and that's our second equation now we differentiate this function with respect to lambda we can write this as u minus under root x1 x2 equals 0 which will give us our third equation which is u equals under root of x1 x2 now from these three equations we have to find x1 x2 and we have to find the value of lambda now if we divide this first equation with second we can write p1 upon p2 will be equal to x2 upon x1 now here we can write x2 as p1 x1 upon p2 so x2 will be p1 x1 upon p2 and if we put x2 in this equation we can write u equals under root of p1 p2 and it will be equal to x1 so from here we'll get expenditure minimization quantity x1 as u into under root p2 upon p1 so that's your x1 and the same way we can write x2 as u into under root of p1 upon p2 so now we have our quantities x1 and x2 now we have to find the value of lambda so basically we can write this lambda as 2p1 and into under root of x1 upon x2 now under root of x1 upon x2 will be under root p2 upon p1 so it will be twice p1 and it will be under root p2 upon p1 so value of lambda will be 2 times under root p1 p2 so that is the value of Lagrangian multiplier now let us consider another question and which is a consumer has preferences given by the constant elasticity of substitution utility function u is a function of q1 q2 and will be under root q1 plus under root q2 whole square which we can also write as q1 plus q2 plus two times under root of q1 q2 now it says write the Lagrangian for consumers maximization problem now it doesn't say what maximization so we'll assume it is consumers utility maximization and here we are not given prices and wealth so let us say budget constraint is w and the prices are p1 and p2 so basically our objective is to maximize u which is q1 plus q2 plus 2 times under root of q1 q2 and our budget constraint is w equals p1 q1 plus p2 q2 now we write lagrangian function so it will be q1 plus q2 plus 2 times under root of q1 q2 and plus lambda and here will be w minus p1 q1 minus p2 q2 now we'll find its gradient and put it equals to 0 so first we'll find del l upon del q1 and it will be 1 plus and it will be under root q2 upon under root q1 and minus lambda p1 and it will be equal to 0 so from here we can write lambda p1 will be equal to under root q1 plus under root q2 upon 
under root q1 now from symmetry we find del l del q2 and put it equals to 0 we we'll get lambda p2 as under root of q2 plus under root q1 upon under root q2 now if we divide first with second we can write p1 upon p2 will be equal to under root of q2 upon q1 and this is our first equation now we differentiate this with respect to lambda we we'll get del l by del lambda and it will be equal to w minus p1 q1 minus p2 q2 equals 0 or p1 q1 plus p2 q2 will be equal to w and that's our second equation now using these two we have to find the value of q1 and q2 now if we square this basically we can write q2 as p1 upon p2 whole square into q1 so we can write this equation as p1 q1 plus now p2 q2 will be p1 square q1 upon p2 and it will be equal to w now we can write this as p1 upon p2 into p1 plus p2 q and it will be equal to w or the value of q1 will be p2 w upon p1 p1 plus p2 so that's our value for q1 now q2 is simply p1 square upon p2 square q1 so we can write this q2 as p1 w upon p2 p1 plus p2 so now we have the values of q1 and q2 now once we have the value of q1 and q2 we can use the value of q1 and q2 to find the value of lambda for this question we just need to find optimal quantities in terms of prices and income hello and welcome to the world of mathematics i present my website www.mathsmarazing.com and my youtube channel mathsmarazing for your kind perusal if you like this and are inspired by the possibilities then consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it thank you